Later this month, city slickers will get a chance to try a tree change as part of an annual project aimed at bridging the gulf between the big smoke and the bush. It's called Farm Day and in the lead up to this year's event, Australia's peak farming lobby is reminding consumers just how efficient and self-reliant our primary producers are these days. For instance, the NFF claims government support now accounts for just 4% of Australian farm income, compared with a whopping 60% in Norway, 50% in Korea, 17% in Canada and almost 10% in the US. Founder Deb Bain told News Breakfast's Virginia Trioli and Michael Rowland that Farm Day is an important opportunity to gently dispel all sorts of myths and misconceptions about life on the land. I think that there's been a real disconnect between the rural and urban communities over the last couple of generations and Farm Day is an opportunity to reacquaint urban consumers with where their food and fibre is produced and actually to get to know a farmer because there's not many farmers living in the city. And in building that, that um, interest and that support for agriculture, I think we're going to really find that city families actually put great credence into having Australian quality product and, produce, and supporting what we produce. Now you've been hosting some families for years, have you seen some city slicker moments with some families not knowing one end of the cow from the other for instance? <laughs> yeah look, um, with the farm day families that host for us, the, um, the, the families learn so much, whether it's something as simple as where an egg comes out of or learning about the technology that farmers use to manage their business on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, the fact that we're sitting at the forefront of technology using um, you know, GPS technology to manage our tractors, to minimise water use, to minimise chemical use, uh, whether it be that we're using genetic genetics to make sure that our, our meat is, is healthy and, and um, tasty and of the quality that our consumers want. Um, we work really hard at our business and we also look hard at looking after the, the land that we manage under that. We mentioned in introducing you about Australian farmers being some of the most independent in the world. What does that really mean? Well, I, mean, I can imagine it means that you're probably very difficult to wrangle in a conversation <laughs> you, and you have your own point of view, but is it something more broad than that? Well, I think um, Australian farmers are very proud of the fact that they do their business with very low subsidies in yeah. comparison with the rest of the world, that we are at the forefront of a lot of changes in, in where agriculture is heading. And I think also Australian farmers have that you know, that usual Australian um, stand up and, and look out for yourself and look out for your mates type of mentality which has kept them going for all these years and through all the difficult times. Although some might say that they're